Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Well, that escalated quickly. X-class solar flare yesterday emits several M-class events as well. I was never able to get back for that second video last night, so we'll hit that topic right after the space weather coverage. Let's get to the last 24 hours on our star, which started slowly, built up slowly, and then built up quickly as a departing sunspot began unleashing solar flares. A couple minor CMEs occurred too, but they were not aimed at our planet. We've got coronal holes to be concerned with as well, so let's jump to the GOES X-ray flux where you see the spikes on the right. That's the sun waking back up yesterday out of nowhere, including the X-class event and several other smaller flares. Let's watch 131 angstroms of extreme UV light emission here. Flashing occurs on the right side, a sunspot that grew from nothing to a flare maker in just hours. The good news is that the sunspot is turned enough that even the small CMEs it is releasing are aimed away from Earth. We will likely see more flares from it, but again, low chance of Earth targeting from that one. However, if the sun is waking back up, we should be eyeing what's coming over the limb. Large umbral fields suggest it's big, and with other spots growing quickly as well, the solar watch level is rising here today. And don't forget, pretty much no way to avoid the coronal whole solar wind streams coming in a few days. Those dark patches are spewing enhanced solar wind. We're watching all of it here today, like every day. Now, yesterday we hit this story about how solar storms take out satellites, but the NASA team also made a comment about how important the topic is because both the number of satellites to monitor and solar activity are the highest they've been on record. And that's not really true. The second part anyway. Lots of satellites, sure, but record high solar activity? We showed this yesterday. Modern days are on the right side of the chart. No, not even close to record activity. And we said we'd come back to what was record high, but before we do that, again, it is not the sun itself that is doing anything record breaking. Not sunspots, solar flares, nothing in the solar wind and resulting geomagnetic storms. However, the auroral production of what the sun does send our way, the space dust levels, and the relative solar storm disturbance compared to the solar wind data, those are all off the charts, and it's been that way for a while, especially since early 2023. Those outsized impacts, by comparison, are because the planetary protection Earth's magnetic field is weakening. It is the subject of our documentary coming out in a few months, The Pole Shift. Goldobservers.com is sponsoring the documentary. Are you worried about certain markets causing volatility? Worried about the currency in general as these disasters unfold? You want to backstop against those or AI or World War III? Want to kick off the next age of Earth as a king? I've got a thousand reasons to stack gold and silver, and even in the aftermath, I'm betting on the antimicrobial aspects of silver, which activate when in contact with the ions and blood plasma. Asthma. If you take any of this seriously, like I do, like all serious preppers do, goldobservers.com are serious people, and best of all, they are observers. Goldobservers.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.